What about you, Jones? What are the plans for 2022? This year will be it will be my second official year back from injury. All right. Um, as obviously last year, leading up to 2021, I, I, was, I was recovering from a massive uh, road traffic accident. Um, but it was almost like it was that was the the I needed a year to get back into the flow. I think even athletes that aren't injured, when you change a coach, it normally takes a year right. to kind of get back into find your feet. Um, so 2022 for me, there's going to be a World Championships, there's a Commonwealth Games and there's a European Championship. So three, three championships in one year, which is a big year in athletics. I've got a real good, <laughs> a real good feeling because training has been going really well. I opened up my first race in, I don't know when this goes out, but in three weeks time, which will be an indoor race. All right, so that's February. Yeah, February the 13th. And right. that will kind of give me some sort of idea of where I'm at at the moment. Mm -hmm. Um, and I can build on that for the rest of the season. If you could medal at any of the three big events you've got going on, which one, you could only choose one, which oh, one would it be? World Championships. World Championships. Yeah, I mean, I've already, thankfully, I've got a Commonwealth Silver and I've got a European Gold. So to add a, awesome <laughs> to add a World Championship medal would yeah. be, that would be good. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. yeah. And when is that? When is the World Championship this that'll year? That'll be, I think it's around July. And that'll be in um, Oregon, Oregon, in the States. Yeah, awesome. Mm. Great. Well, good luck for that. Absolutely it. smash it. So what is it that, that inspires you? What is it that drives you? What, what, what is that that makes you come back from that massive mm. injury and defy many people's predictions mm. of not even being able to walk again mm. to not only competing, but having that drive, determination, that internal knowing you're going to win gold at the world. I've had it from a kid, but it's unfulfilled potential. I, I, before the accident, I hadn't fulfilled my potential. Um, I know that for a fact. And coming back from the crash, uh, the thing that motivated me and dr drove me forward to get back to where I am now, for me, it was having an unfinished story. I didn't want to just walk away. Um, and thankfully, whether it's divine intervention or whatever it is or my mindset, I feel like I've been, been given that chance to finish the story off. And the way I'm going, I'm getting all the signs and signals to show that I can come back and actually run just as fast, as, if not faster. Um, so that's my motivation. I need to fulfill my pot potential. That, yeah. that's, that's the thing for me. And again, uh, people that doubt me, that gives me all, all the fuel in the world to come back. You say you've known since you were a kid that you wanted to be an athlete. Tell me that story. You were talk we were talking earlier yeah. on today briefly, yeah. and I just yeah. got chills when I. So it was heard it. probably from when I was three years old. I saw athletics on the TV. My mum was a big athletics fan, and uh, I remember watching it because I, I remember back to when I was two, and I remember seeing. I don't know what it was that attracted me to it, but I, I thought oh, I want to do that, and um, I, I didn't even know if I was fast or not by that age. Um, it wasn't until I went to nursery, <laughs> nursery it started, and I was quick. And then I followed obviously the greats like Linford Christie and through the nineties in the UK, you see like, uh, there's a lot of athletics on TV. Yeah. And it was just from then I just stuck with it. There's so many times when people have told me, I'll go and get a job or forget the running stuff. All right. And in my mind, I thought they, was, they thought I was crazy. Yeah. But in my mind, I thought they was crazy. Yeah. So I was just, I just stuck with it and just carried on. And obviously you get loads of, you take loads of losses, but the, the important thing is that you get back up and just keep pushing forward. Yeah. Then you had that accident in mm. 2016, is that right? 20, 2017. 2017. Yeah. And then it would have been easy at that point to say, yeah, yeah I'm just going to lie here and yeah. eat donuts or yeah, whatever. Yeah, no, but no, no. something drove you to get up out of that yeah. wheelchair and go for it. Yeah, I had, that, was, that could have been the biggest excuse in the world. And I don't, nobody would have seen it as an excuse. They could have right. said, that's a genuine reason. Right. Um, <clears throat> but when I was in hospital bed and they was talking about maybe me losing my leg, even then I was thinking, right, hmm. If I lose my leg, then I'll, just, I'll be the fastest Paralympian in the world. That's how I thought, <laughs> wow. right? And if I save my leg and I can walk, then I can run. And if I can run, I can train. And if I can train, I can get back to where I want to be. That's not me speaking and saying this stuff because it sounds good. This is genuinely how my, if you ask anyone around me, how, I, how, how my mindset is. I remember everybody looking around at me in my hospital bed, like with kind of like tears in their eyes. I could see the misery. It's like someone had died, right? right. And I'm thinking, why do you look so sad? I'm, I'm, I'm alive yeah. and I'll be back. Yeah. But 
obviously they're thinking he's finished. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Such a clear vision in your mind that you, yeah, knew, yeah. you just knew. You just no, knew yeah, 100% right. I knew. 100%. Yeah, yeah. Great. Well, I mean, it's, it's been a joy for us to be partnering with you over the last 12 months. And yeah, no. We're looking forward to partnering with you again over the next 12 yeah, months. No, so, uh, it's, it's been my pleasure. And again, for the support, of, I'm a big believer in just genuine, genuine relationships, genuine products, genu everything genuine. Right. So for you guys to kind of turn up has been, been a saviour as well. At Life Plus, we're kind of proud of the quality of product that we have, but we're also proud of our opportunity uh, giving people the chance to be the best they can be, yeah. but also build in genuine, long-lasting relationships mm. that are built mm. on integrity and trust, openness and, mm. and stuff. And I think uh, it's the first chance today that we've met yeah, face yeah, yeah. to face and yeah. I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, it's been yeah, a lot same. of fun and yeah. we look forward to working with you in the coming year and beyond that. So yeah. good luck. No, I appreciate Thank it. Thank you very much, Matt. Thank you.